Hey guys, on today's video I'm going to teach you how to install this on your Mac. So we're going to start right from the beginning making a time machine backup from your Mac and then installing this. So we're going to take apart your Mac and install this new hard drive. Okay, so this is a 480 gig from Crucial. And we're going to start off with time machine. So let me just show you. Who haven't used time machine before? It's something really easy. You just get an external hard drive. Okay, that's different than this internal one that we bought and make sure to turn on. And I do have a separate video showing you guys how to uh, set up your external hard drive with Time Machine, okay? So Time Machine, what it does is it will back up your entire computer. So it'll back up everything from your apps that you have installed to pretty much everything, okay? All your files, everything. So you guys will be good. Even your settings, your background, everything okay so i highly suggest doing this just do this it's gonna make everything easier of course you can go into this utility and just reinstall your os but if you have time machine then everything gets loaded up and you don't have to go through the hassle of reinstalling every single app and all your settings and all that stuff you might have to do some stuff to your apps but for most of them you have your time machine backup and you're gonna be good Anyways, the next step from, once you're done that, okay, just in case this is my external hard drive, my, okay, so I'm making my backup with that. And uh, once that's done, then finally I will disconnect my MacBook, take it apart and install this, okay? So I'm not gonna show you more of this. It's just showing you that's making that um, backup right now, which is gonna take a few hours. And after that, I'm just gonna start with the whole process. And now we're gonna take this apart. So you have all these tiny screws to get out and just make sure you have something like this. Use any of your screws, obviously. What I like to leave them on is on the lid itself. However, when you're taking it off, you might shake it a little bit and lose one or two. So just be careful of that, okay? And this is how it looks like inside. To touch wood or something so you don't have any static on your hands before touching anything. And I mean anything, especially your external hard drive. I mean your internal hard drive um, that you're gonna change or anything like that that you touch. Just don't, and try not to touch this, but just don't have any static on your hands. So touch some wood or something like that, okay? I'm gonna disconnect the battery. Now I know a lot of people skip this step but it's actually really important because you don't want all that electricity running through when you're taking that out, just in case, okay? Sometimes, I know, sometimes nothing happens, you're all good, but sometimes uh, things can happen. So it's better just to be safe than sorry. And I don't have the official tool to take this out, so I'm just gonna try it out with this that I found around, and we're gonna see what happens. Take care of these two screws up here, okay? Apart. And there you just pull on this tab. And right here, set a connector, so you just gently pull that out. It might be a little bit hard at first, but don't pull it too hard. Out, we're just gonna take these screws out to transfer those onto the new hard drive. Okay, so just take these guys out. It's not a normal screwdriver, so it's not the small one that we use for the screws on the Mac, it's a different size one. So you can kind of get an idea by looking at this. Let me just focus in. So that's the shape that you want your screwdriver to be able to do, okay? So here we go. External hard drive, we're gonna place these guys that you just took out. So you do have those corners on the sides, so they don't go anywhere here, there's no holes anyways, but you're gonna put them there, okay? With that one, and this is the old one, so remember to take this out. It's just good for you to take it out, so the next one you put in, that's how you put it in, so let's just take this out slowly, don't rip it, and there we go, and we're gonna install this um, thing on the new one, okay? One, you're just gonna place it right here in the 
middle-ish area. There we go. So it should technically stick a little bit. On. There we go. If it doesn't, don't worry too much about it. We're just going to install this so we have it all set up. And the way that it goes in is this way. Okay, it's pretty logical. You can't really put it another way because these things will not connect up. So let's just hook it up. Put it in is this first in here. So it's gonna kind of lock in and then just kind of let go and you're good to go. It's all set. All we have to do is the last part, which is put this guy on. It's told you guys, we're just gonna put this right here and we are good um just remember the last step that we're gonna do is put this spacer that's because this doesn't sit it's a little bit thinner so you need this spacer that comes with it so you just have to place it right there okay and you guys will notice that there's glue that you can take off okay double-sided tape and you just put it on there so that's the last step just want to show you guys before we finish Last points, just don't forget to hook your battery back in. Don't just leave it out. So let's just press that. So it's nice and secure. And next, we're just gonna put everything on. Place our cover back on. Go something like so. And then you just have to press here, okay? So it kind of snaps in. Okay, so as you turn on your Mac for the first time, Make sure to press Command R. So I'm just gonna press that right now. Why not? And this is the first time this to install our new SSD. And like I told you, you have your time machine backup, which is great. So we can go ahead and format our SSD. So I'm just gonna hold on to Command R until I actually see a loading bar or something. Um, I Usually you see on reviews and stuff that they tell you to hold on 13 seconds, but it really depends on your Mac, how fast it is and all that. So just press Command R and you guys should be fine. Command R, uh, I'm gonna let go right now since I see this. And it's doing our internet recovery. So we're just gonna wait and see what happens next. Finally, finally done that part recovery and then went into this page okay so from here you guys have to go into disk utility okay we're just gonna press continue and from here we're gonna have to format our ssd okay so the, here's our ssd and from here we just erase and journaled yep journaled we can name it right now so what i want to name it is macbook Pro HDD Erase Erase And this should be actually fairly fast even if it's a terabyte It's gonna be really fast. So there we go. It's actually done. And then we just close this up So let me just point this up a little bit. Sorry guys if you guys weren't able to see that so right here close this up and once you guys close it, you guys are going to see this. So, like you guys did, you made your backup, right? On your external hard drive using your time machine. So we're just going to hook up our time machine right now, which is my external hard drive. And from here, if you guys didn't do that, you guys skip that step for some reason. Just reinstall the OS right now, which is your second option. However, I want to reinstall everything, all my apps, get all my folders back have everything the way it was, but on this new HD. So I'm gonna restore from my time machine. And uh, for those of you who are thinking, why well, I don't need a time machine, you do, you really do. It's the best way to have a good backup. So we're gonna go to continue and here we go. So right now it knows that I have this time machine. So that's the name of my time machine, okay? For you guys, you could say, I don't know, whatever you guys named it. Maybe you guys just named it HD, not sure. But just go continue. Uh, most likely it's gonna detect what you guys did. So here's my latest one, so that was today. And my latest one was at 6.19. Right now it's seven o'clock. 
and we're just gonna press continue. So right now it says from here, restore from your Macintosh HD on MacBook, MacBook, MacBook. So let's just see that full name. So this can get kind of confusing, I guess, but not really. Anyways, select your latest, or if you don't want your latest thing, just select something else. But in this case, your latest will be the first one right there. And we're just gonna go next. And here we go. So we have to select destination. Our destination will be our MacBook Pro. Maybe you guys just see that because we just named it. So whatever you guys put the name, that's where you want to restore. And we just press restore. We go and continue and it's restoring. So this will take, depending on how much files you guys have, um, it will take forever. Or oh, this might be really fast for you guys if you guys don't have anything. Things gonna be almost full. So that's a bad thing, but I do have 400 gigs and that's gonna take quite a while because my external hard drive is really slow. If you guys have a fast external hard drive and hopefully not a passport, it's gonna be faster, okay? So I do recommend if you're getting an external hard drive, get a full size one, not those passport ones. I know they're small, they're easier to carry around, but the hardcore ones, the fast ones will always be the big ones, okay? And they will last you longer anyways. Um, anyways, um, from here, it's just restoring everything. Um, you guys are just gonna see your screen back, everything back. You guys might have to put a few passwords in back again. Um, and there might be one or two programs that you may have to install again. It all depends what programs we're talking about and how you guys installed them in the first place. Anyways, that's it. Right now it's just gonna restore it. Like I said, it's gonna take a couple hours or maybe just an hour for you guys if you don't have that much info. For me, it's gonna take forever. And uh, that's it. That's it for this. That's how we install our new SSD. If you guys have any questions, comments, you can write them down below in the comments area. And don't forget to subscribe and rate. Thank you.